this video will teach you how to create a test or quiz within your course in Schoology. A test or quiz functions the same as a regular test or quiz. And for my secondary educators, you can think of a test or quiz in Schoology similar to Edulastic. Thinking back to our introduction to Schoology module with the scavenger hunt and also module one, your course shell, you already have experience in taking a test or quiz. So today's objective in this video is to go ahead and build a test or quiz within your course. In the module one course shell, your test or quiz had several different question formats. We had ordering, true, false, fill in the blank, and matching. And so again, we will look at those different options today. So we're gonna go ahead and access our course that we created in module one. So from your courses or course dashboard, we are going to click on the course that you created. And we are going to build our practice test in our Schoology training practice items folder. All right, from here we can go ahead and add our um, test or quiz from our drop down menu in the um, center panel. We can add it that way in which the icon is the green puzzle piece or the, just the same, I can take my cursor and hover below my practice material assignment and add my tester quiz from there. Again, this is where you want to create and tailor your test or quiz that is specific to your learners, what you teach or what your role is. I am going to name my test practice test. If you'd like to assign it a due date and an end date, you may do so there. You can also award points and change it if you do not wish it to be 100. Remember that your categories are gonna be determined by the district, so please click on what is available to you. We are going to leave the period as professional development factor and syncing. Again, we will talk about these in another module where we discuss gradebook and gradebook setup, but for right now, I will uncheck sync to sys. I am going to leave my scale as numeric. However, you do have other options. You can change it to a plus. And of course, there are some options that were similar to what um, was available when we created an assignment. And I will click create. Once you click create, it will take you immediately to where you are going to begin building your test and adding the different questions. So from here, I will add a question, and this is where you will want to choose um, the different type of question format that you would like to include. So I am going to first include a true-false question. Um, you will also notice that we have a similar toolbar if it isn't the same to what we last saw when creating an assignment. So I will begin typing my first question. Because this is a true false question within my test, um, it automatically defaults text for true and text for false. You want to go ahead and identify what the correct answer is. You can also check the box if you would like to require a correction if the answer is false, meaning 
the learner would have to key in a response there. If it is a subjective question, um, these are not something that is automatically graded, but you would go in and actually grade it yourself. You could check that box. If you wish it to be a timed question, you can check that as well. And you want to go ahead and assign the question points. It automatically defaults to one, but you can increase that to however you see fit. You are also able to add the learning objectives if you choose to do so. So I will click create question and my first question is created. So from here, I will just continue building my test. So I'm going to choose, actually I'm going to choose multiple choice. And again, you simply type in your question. It automatically defaults to four choice responses. You can go ahead and eliminate that or increase that as you need. Once you have typed in your choice or your response options, you can go ahead and click the correct answer so that it is automatically graded. If I wanted to include more, here's where I could add. And I can also change my mind and remove any blanks. You can go ahead and check this box if you would like to randomize your choices. You can allow partial credit. And again, if you would like it to be a timed question, you could do so as well. For this, I will change the point to two and create that question. Another type of question that you may find beneficial would be something like fill in the blank. For fill in the blank, you want to use an underscore. And when you do that, um, your answer option will appear below. So I can add some various answers, say set of tires. Someone may say wheels. Um, if you think that um, spelling would be uh, a factor, you may want to include some various ways on how to spell things. If you included numbers, it may be uh, beneficial to add not only the numeric, but the word form. You can allow partial credit. If you choose to add a word bank, you can do that as well. If you want it to be case sensitive and timed, you can check off whatever it is that you need in order to build your test. One other question um, type for your test I'd like to bring your attention to would be the short answer and essay question. I'm just gonna type write your response below. If you would like to limit the characters, you can choose to click this box. You can allow rich text answers for students. You can also allow video or audio answers for students, which would uh, be very beneficial to students that may have accommodations. 
and then from here you can choose whether it's a short answer or an essay that will determine the space allocated for students' answers when you print the test if you choose to do so. And here is where um, for an essay type of question you want to include a rubric and you can find those instructions in a separate video. And I will create my question. All right, from here on the settings tab, you can go ahead and include your instructions, your submissions, whether you want to, you know, give a specific timeline when you're going to enable or disable language keyboard question review right here under resumable um, will you allow your students to resume an incomplete submission that is something you would need to think about and if so you could you know check yes view submissions if you would like to allow students to view the results of their test quiz so if you select no they will not um, yes, they will be able to see it. Um, however, they will not be able to see it with the correct answers unless you choose that option. From the preview tab, this is how your test will look. So you can click start new attempt and you can preview what it will look like to your learner or audience. And when you start getting results, you will see them in that tab as well as comments. If you enable comments, you will see them here. If you disable comments, um, of course, that tab will disappear. So um, when you create your test for your module, please go ahead and um, take the time to explore the different ways in which you can build your test using the various test questions.